Look up, your food is on the way. Drone deliveries are no longer a novelty in Shenzhen. This rooftop is one of five launch pads in the city, flying parcels from the mall downstairs to a pickup kiosk nearby. I order on the app, click drone delivery, and receive a pickup code. Once I get my stuff, I just throw the box in there, and it's done. It's really fast. Tech giant Meituan says these drones can deliver orders within 12 to 15 minutes, compared to about 40 minutes during peak time. Millions of dollars in government subsidies are up for grabs for companies big and small as they develop new services in the air. Government subsidies are only proportional, but they allow us to invest more in technology. Such policies will attract private investment as well. It helps the whole industry. Right now, the cost of drone deliveries are higher than riders, but it will come down significantly in the next five to ten years. We're not here to replace riders; rather, we've created different jobs for them. Shenzhen is opening highways in the sky, not just for goods, but for people as well. Shenzhen East General Aviation hopes to build China's first urban air mobility platform, operating both helicopters and electric drones. The Greater Bay Area is a booming market. Our helicopter services already cover nine cities in Guangdong, plus Hong Kong and Macau. Building on that experience, we are working with passenger drone companies in route design and testing. We expect to obtain the first commercial flying permit before the end of this year. A trip from East Shenzhen to the airport in the city's west could take about two hours by car or by public transportation, but the helicopter will take you there in under 20 minutes. A ride on this luxury twin-motor helicopter will set you back 2,700 U.S. dollars, but a ticket on a smaller aircraft costs 10 times less thanks to government subsidies. And with electric and autonomous prototypes taking off around the world, the technology is almost ready to make flying taxis a reality for the masses. The question is: Are our cities equipped to manage the ever more congested urban airspace? How we optimize the routes for these vehicles because. Does not like on land. We have very clear guiding system. We have light, traffic light. We have the line. We have the road. We have pedestrians. But on low altitudes, spacers, it's empty there. So far, there's no law to tell people how we utilize the resources at the low altitude spacers. Make a rule, let people to follow. Shenzhen is in the early stages of drafting legislature. Proposals for the law will focus on areas ranging from the registration of new vehicles to liability protocols and a database for the industry.